It's been three years since the death of radio legend Casey Kasem, and the war between his surviving family members rages on. There are competing wrongful death suits between Kasem's widow and the children from his first marriage. And as Jim Murray reports, it is getting ugly, especially when it comes to the Kasem mansion. They killed my husband. We did not kill him. We took him to a hospital to save his life. It's the right war now. of the Kasems, and only Inside Edition is there to watch it unfold. They're breaking laws. They're murderers. It's Casey Kasem's widow, Jean, who hasn't been seen in years, battling her stepdaughter, Carrie. At stake, the multi-million dollar estate of the legendary DJ who died in 2014. He was everything to me. The confrontation unfolds at Kasem's Bel Air mansion, once a breathtaking property, now in a shocking state of neglect. It's a far cry from the opulent grounds I toured four years ago. Welcome to the Kasem house. When Jean gave me a private tour of the home, which was then on the market for $42 million. Now I'm greeted not by a gracious host, Hi. but by police who are trying to keep the peace between the warring Kasems. 27-year-old Liberty Kasem, Kasem's only child with Jean, is agitated because movers have shown up unannounced to empty out the house. They're taking everything. They want everything. I am the owner of the house. Jean is a former actress best known for her role on TV's Cheers. Hi, gang of Cheers. Today, she's struggling with a broken foot after falling. She's been in hiding for three years. Now she's doing what she can to stop her late husband's assets from being seized. Jean tries to physically block the attorney for the trust. <laughs> Liberty Kasem is the sole person living in the vast mansion. There's no power or water. Her situation is so desperate, she went on Facebook and issued a plea for help. I haven't slept in two days. Please. Casey's eldest daughter, Carrie, argues Jean and Liberty are ruining the property. Well, the house hasn't been taken care of. The taxes aren't paid. Uh, they've destroyed everything. They've killed everything. Both sides accuse the other of being responsible for Casey Kasem's death. She unplugged my dad from his feeding tube. The doctor says if you take Casey out of this hospital, you are putting him in grave danger. They killed him for a life insurance policy and to go after all of our assets. The war of the Kasems goes on. The L.A. District Attorney declared two years ago there was insufficient evidence to warrant criminal charges in Kasem's death.